Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fit a cab curtain in your van to separate the cab from the back of the van. Right, so it's pretty straightforward to fit the van style curtains into your Caddy Max. So you've got to do a bit of modifications, but I'm going to show you how to do it all. So pretty much you've got the two curtains here. So as you can see, there's two curtains on one side. So one goes on that side, and then the other curtain will go across on that side like that. Then you have got poppers down the side here. So you have got one popper there, which when the curtains are closed, this will wrap around the curtain to keep it against the side wall. And then you've also got two poppers down the side of the curtain there, which can attach to the side of your bulkhead there. So in order to fit these, you do need something that you can attach the side of the curtain to. So ideally you want to cut down the side of your bulkhead like I've done here, and then you can attach it to that. Then you have obviously got, you've got some end caps, some screws and some poppers, which you'll attach onto the curtain. So then you've got the rail, but because this is for a VW T5, you're gonna to have to cut the rail down to size. So the first step you're gonna to have to do is measure the width of the caddy here, cut down this rail, and then you can attach the rail to the wood there. Again, you're gonna need something to attach the rail to. So as you can see here, I've put in a piece of wood, which I've screwed into the old bulkhead holes. So I'll show you how to do that now. Fit a divided curtain in your Caddy Maxi into the cab. What you wanna do is fit a rail along here, which you can then attach the curtain to. So where the bulkhead used to go in, there is pre-existing bolt holes. So I like to use these. So I'm only gonna use the ones on each end. There's another one there. I've cut a piece of wood to the right size that fits. So now I've drilled two holes at an angle because obviously these bolt holes are an angle as well. And they're not flat, they're actually angled up into the roof. So then pretty much this piece of wood will then screw in there and attach like that. So what you can do is use the bolts that came out of the van. They're all the same size, they're M6 bolts. Sometimes they're a little bit too short when you do this. So you just have to get a slightly longer M6 bolt. So I've got one that's long enough and one that's a bit longer. So now I'm going to fit it in. So there you go guys, that's the curtain rail secured in. The bolt there another one at the other end and then obviously I can attach the curtain onto this but I can also fit things like this light and I've got a good solid place because this wood is quite fragile I don't really want to do it there and have a nice good secure for that like there and obviously put the curtain rail along it as well. So the first step is to measure the width of this bit here so you can cut down the rail so we are looking about 85 centimeters and you need to leave a little bit of a gap so you can slide the end of the curtain onto the rail so yeah, probably 85 centimetres. So the next thing you want to do is cut down your rail and the best way to do this is to use a hacksaw I find. You measure out the length you need, about 85, and you make a little mark with a the hacksaw. There you go, so now how to do it. And then the next stage is simply to cut it down. So you just want to take your time doing this to get it right. And there you go, it's all cut down. So just be careful there's no sharp bits on the end there. And that is your rail cut to size. So as you can see, the rail comes pre-drilled for the holes that will attach the rail into the roof of your van. So as I've just cut down the rail, I've only now got three holes in the rail and I feel like I just need one more because it does come with four holes and four screws. So I'm just gonna drill an extra one. So I've got four again. So on the end of the rails, they have got these end caps. So the next thing you want to do is you want to drill the hole for these end caps. So as you can see, there's a little hole there. So these slide in like that, and then you have to drill a little hole at the end of the rail there. Ideally, you want to do this as a three mil metal drill bit, but I've only got four mil, so it will be okay. But ideally, like I say, you want to do it with a three mil. There you go there, I just mark a little hole, and then I can do that, drill the rest of that out. There you go, that is it drilled out, and then that will slide in like that, and you can screw through it. To do the same to the other side. So now you want to make sure you've cut your bar to the right length. As you can see there, mine is correct. So the next step you want to do is screw it in position. So using the screws provided, once you get the screws bit, they should go in quite easily. You can screw them in all the way just for now. Just do them a little bit, and put the rest in as you go along, and then you can tighten them all up. You just want to do them finger tight, they're tight enough. As you can see, that is a rail there. Got two more screws to put in. Your next step is to slide the curtains onto the rail. So 
So your next step is to screw in the popper. So you want to decide which position you want it in. So I think for mine, I'm going to have it about there. So what you want to do is get the other side of the button popper, which is there. Decide where you want to put it, then you can secure it into the plastic. You need a bit of force to get that one in, and then once it bites, you can screw it all the way in. Again, you just want to be finger tight with this one. You don't want to screw it too hard, because it will go through the popper. There you go, so that's nice and secure. And then you can attach the popper to that, like so. So then you've got to move on to the next one, further down, and do the other two on the other side. So you want to do the same again for the one lower down. So you're going to position it whereabouts you want it. So probably about there will be good, and pop that on there. Again, once that bites, it'll screw in nicely. And you just want to do it finger tight. Make sure it's nice and secure, and then you can pop the button on that one. As like so, and that has the curtain secure. And then you can pop that off want to. The next thing you want to do is attach the end caps to the end of the curtain to stop the rail coming off. That slides in there like that. And then the next step is just to screw them to position. Again, you just want to do this finger tight so that it's secure. So there you go, guys. That is the curtains fitted, and they look absolutely amazing. For £23, you cannot beat these van style curtains. They're probably the best curtains on the market. As you can see, I've still got one curtain open here, so this slides along really easily. Got the pop and the little tassel here, so you can fully open them up like that. And then obviously, if you want to shut them off, you can undo that, slide them along, and then you've got the poppers in the middle here, so you just connect those together, like so. And then there you go, you can fully separate the cab from the back of the van. They're really good curtains, they're good quality, they're nice and thick, so they'll be good for the warmth and you can't see through them. So for £23, you just can't be them. Highly recommend these. If you've got any questions about how to fit them, or you've got any questions about how to do anything else in your van, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.